What if I told you Africans that your education system far beyond the terrain and dogma of this world, not writing in between pages of textbooks, but coded into your special and unique DNA that is unprecedented to anything out there? You will go ballistic. What if I told you the internet you're using right now? The social media. God's eye controlling the world's attention, your digital footprint and shadows, were not created by the West. Not by Silicon Valley. Not by China. But by a black man from Africa? Sounds crazy, right? Yes, I know it does. While you are busy reading garbage, doing TikTok challenges, chasing clout, the Western superheroes are being celebrated like gods of the digital age, and your heroes? Their works and architecture that shaped the global economies. Industries are silently erased from the history. Finding them will require another level of intelligence and special skills to discover their incredible jobs. If these strikes you hard, smash that subscribe button right now, as what you are about to hear next will change your trajectory shaping the very fabrics of your realities. His name is Idris Sandu. A few days ago, I shared a video with you folks about the father of internet. A lot of Western communities folks were outraged by the shocking reality about the Nigerian man whose his invention of parallel supercomputing gave birth to the very internet that the world is enjoying today. However, his name was erased from receiving the credits for his ingenuity. And in today's video lies yet another jaw-dropping fact about the brains and bronze behind the God's eye of the internet. When we say God, yes, you heard me right, not left like the God's eye of the internet, that tracks your digital footprints and dancing steps, it knows you better than anyone and what you like and dislikes based on you digital footprint on different social networks or internet space. Here is the kicker. Every e-commerce website, shopping stores, Every website that uses algorithm to determine your next move, tracks the choice you make, content or products you are likely to click next, what you clicked, videos you watched, products or digital feeds you interacted with, secretly or publicly. The algorithm is that all-knowing God's eye of the internet that keeps you checked in and out, the watchdog of social media or social networks, news feeds uses to determine your demographic, your preferences, to feeding you the next similar content you interacted with. The guy behind this algorithm is an African genius. Yes, you heard me right. The internet never remained the same ever since the God's eye of the internet was born. An African genius who designed the algorithms that govern YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and beyond. But the Western world doesn't want you to know that. They will tell you about Mark Zuckerberg. They will worship Elon Musk. They will celebrate Sundar Pichai. But the true god of social media algorithms is a black man from Ghana. And that truth has the Western world boiling. Today, we expose it all. This is not just a story about Idris Sandu, it's a story about how Africa is rising, and they are terrified. Born to Ghanaian parents, Idris Sandu grew up between two worlds, the tech-driven West and the soulful genius of Africa. By age three, his father took him back to Ghana to reconnect with their roots, grounding him in African identity. By age 10, while most kids were glued to cartoons, Idris was in public libraries teaching himself how to code. No elite universities, no Silicon Valley mentors, just pure African curiosity and determination. At 13 years old, Idris got a seat at Google HQ, working on internal software projects. Not as an intern fetching coffee, as a contributor solving problems full-grown engineers couldn't crack. But that's just the beginning of what he built. You've actually used Idris Sandu's work every single day, whether you realize it or not. You know YouTube's recommendation engine, the one that predicts what video you'll end up binging next? Well, Idris helped design that system. And Instagram's algorithm that decides which posts show up in your feed? Yeah, Idris's fingerprints are all over it. Snapchat's geolocation filters? He was part of the early framework that made those possible. And, get this, he even contributed to Uber's autonomous vehicle data infrastructure, really pushing the boundaries of self-driving technology. 
Yet somehow, his name is missing from the history books. Why is that? Well, honestly, it's because his skin doesn't fit their so-called genius mold. So, let's just ask a simple question here. What if Idris Sandu was white? Imagine, for a second, if a white teenager taught himself how to code in a library, got hired by Google at 13, and, you know, contributed to the algorithms of every major social media platform out there. Would he be ignored? Absolutely not. He'd be called the next Steve Jobs. Time Magazine would put him on the cover as Tech's Young Savior. Netflix would have already made like a 10-part documentary about his life. But because he's African, his story is kept in the shadows. Because the West honestly fears an African narrative of technological dominance. So let's uncover what CNN won't tell you. First up, the smart store with Nipsey Hussle. Idris co-created the first smart store using augmented reality, merging the digital and physical shopping experience in Crenshaw. Next, we have Google's Office on Wheels project. He developed mobile infrastructure concepts to bring high-speed internet to underserved areas. Then, there's his work on AI frameworks for social media. His early work on AI-driven content suggestions now forms the backbone of how Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube determine what goes viral. And oh, he's working on spatial programming. He's developing advanced interface systems that will revolutionize how humans physically interact with AI and digital environments. But, you know, none of this is celebrated. Why? Because it's not part of the Western media's script of African inferiority. Idris Sandu's journey destroys the myth that Africa is dependent on Western education to succeed. He didn't need Harvard. He didn't need Stanford. He didn't need outdated colonial curriculums. He built his empire with self-education, African resilience, and an unbreakable vision. This is why the Western world is scared. Because if Africa realizes it doesn't need their approval or their degree certifications, Africa will leapfrog them in innovation. Understand this. Algorithms are the new weapons of global control. They decide what you see, think, and believe. They control elections, shape economies, dictate cultures. And the man who helped build this power? An African. Idris Sandu. But imagine if Africans built their own platforms their own algorithms that reflect African values, culture, and narratives. The West fears this possibility because it would decentralize their control over information. That's why they suppress names like Idris. But the time of silence is over. Now you know why they're boiling. Because the king of the internet algorithms is not Zuckerberg, not Sundar Pichai, not Elon Musk. It's Idris Sandu, the African genius they tried to erase. But this is just the beginning. We're exposing every hidden African innovator they've silenced. So if you're tired of fake tech history, if you believe Africa's time is now, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, because the next video will blow the lid off another buried African genius. And if you're ready to join this movement of truth, support the channel by dropping a super thanks donation. Every contribution helps us fight this information war. We are rewriting history piece by piece. The algorithm they designed to control you, we will use to liberate ourselves. Africa rises. The new tech age is African.